the 1st of September 2022. Top 5 Evening Headlines Rajasthan Goft Sanctions 40 Crore Rupees for Electric Vehicle Policy CCS Clears Indigenous ACA Mark II Fighter Aircraft Project India or SGDP in first quarter of current fiscal grows at 13.5%. CERT in conducts exercise cyber security exercise or ELQO, Synergy or RDQO. Hum Amit Shah launches or ELQO, CAPF EWAS or RDQO, web portal in New Delhi. Know about Central Armed Police Forces. Central Armed Police Forces or CAPF consist of all the Central Armed Police Organizations of India under the Ministry of Home Affairs. It was formerly known as Central Paramilitary Forces CPMF. CAPF is further classified into three, Border Guarding Forces, Forces for Internal Security, and Special Task Force. These forces are responsible for internal security in guarding the borders. CCS Clears Indigenous ACA Mark II Fighter Aircraft Project The Cabinet Committee on Security have cleared the development of ACA Mark II Fighter Aircraft. It would be a replacement for the Mirage 2000, Jaguar and MiG-29 combat aircraft in the Indian Air Force. The DRDO would be developing the aircraft with a GE-414 engine which is the advanced version of the GE-404. Less than span style equals greater than GE 404 less than span greater than power the existing LCAS and the 83 ACA Mark 1 as. And Goft sanctions 40 crore rupees for electric vehicle policy. The Rajasthan government has come up with its electric vehicle policy to encourage the purchase of EVS in the state. Under the Rajasthan Electric Vehicle Policy, REVP, the government has sanctioned a fund of 40 crore rupees for contribution to the purchase of electric vehicles. The air policy will be for a period of five years from September 1, 2022. Sri Lanka, IMF reached preliminary agreement for loan of $2.9 billion. The Sri Lanka Government and International Monetary Fund, IMF, have reached a preliminary agreement for a loan of $2.9 billion. It will support the country or S economic policies with 48-month arrangement under extended fund facility. Sri Lanka or S new fund supported program aims to restore macroeconomic stability and debt sustainability. Hum Amit Shah launches CAPF EWAS web portal in New Delhi. Home Minister Amit Shah launched the Central Armed Police Forces or EWAS web portal in New Delhi on 1 September 2022. It has been developed in order to operationalize the revised policy of allotment and to also bring transparency to the allotment process. The web portal will enable online registration and allotment of residential quarters to eligible personnel of CAPFS and Assam Rifles. India's GDP in first quarter of current fiscal grows at 13.5%. The GDP of the country for the April to June quarter of the current financial year grew at 13.5%. According to the provisional estimates by the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, in the first quarter of fiscal 2022-23, agriculture, forestry or fishing sector rose 4.5%. The manufacturing sector grew 4.8% and the construction sector appreciated by 16.8%. CERT in conducts exercise cyber security exercise synergy. Indian Computer Emergency Response Team CERT in under the Ministry of Electronics and it successfully designed and conducted the cyber security exercise or ELQO synergy or RDQO for 13 countries on the 31st of August 2022. It was held in collaboration with the Cyber Security Agency of Singapore. The theme of the exercise was or ELQO, Building Network Resiliency to Counter Ransomware Attacks or RDQO. PM Modi lays foundation stone of Phase 2 of Kochi Metro. PM Modi laid the foundation stone for the second phase of the Kochi Metro project on 1 September 2022. He also inaugurated the first phase extension linking SN Junction and Wadakke Kota at A function in Kochi.
He also dedicated to the nation three other railway projects. The Phase 2 corridor of the Kochi Metro project covers a distance of 11.2 km. It is estimated to cost 1,957 crore rupees. Moody's slashes India's economic growth forecast to 7.7% for 2022. Moody's Investors Service slashed India's economic growth projection for 2022 to 7.7%, citing dampening of economic momentum in coming quarters on rising interest rates, uneven monsoon, and slowing global growth. Earlier Moody or S had projected India or S GDP to expand by 8.8% this year. Indian economy grew by 8.3% in 2021 after a 6.7% contraction in 2020. A book on Indian banking released by Dr. Ashutosh Raravikar. Dr. Ashutosh Raravikar has authored a new book titled Or Elkwo, Indian Banking in Retrospect 75 Years of Independence or RDQO. He is currently the Director of the Department of Economic or Policy Research DEPR, RBI. The book is published by Aswad Prakashan Private Limited. Vivek Debroy, Chairman of the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister of India has written the foreword of the book. 50th Manipur Shuming Leela Festival began. Less than span style equals, greater than the 50th Manipur Shuming Leela Festival began at Ibuyama Shuming Leela Shangleng, Imphal, less than span greater than Ganesan and CMN. Biren Singh attended the inaugural function, less than span equals, greater than Shu traditional form of theatre in Manipur where the roles of female artists are all played by Lili Shuming Leela began as a comedy genre presented to kings and nobles.